Hi, it's Riley from AOL Autos, and I have with me in my hand the part that really all of America is talking about. This is the accelerator pedal assembly from a 2009 Toyota. Now, this is an actual um, accelerator pedal that we pulled off a 2009 Toyota Camry. And what I wanted to do today is kind of talk about how it works, um, what problems that uh, Toyota claims that, they're, that they've seen in the field. There have been about a dozen uh, cars that have had problems with this system. And wanted to talk about what you can do in case you run into uh, an issue with your Toyota. Um, so I brought with me today uh, Sam Abul Samid from Autoblog, good friend of ours, very technical. And uh, we just thought we'd walk through how this thing works. Um, basically, this is mounted to the side, to the firewall of your car, and you press down on your foot right here to get the gas going. So kind of go like that. And um, kind of thought I'd turn it over to Sam here to talk about how. Um, really this whole system is integrated and, and how it works and how it controls uh, your engine. All right. Uh, with most modern cars, almost all modern cars now, what they have is a, an electronic throttle system. So in the old days, when you press, pressed on the gas pedal, there was actually a cable that was connected to the pedal assembly and it would wind through the firewall into the engine compartment and physically move the throttle on the engine. What we have now is an electronic throttle where you've got essentially a pedal simulator and it sends an electrical signal to the uh, engine computer which then uh, causes the throttle to move um, using inputs from the emission control systems, the traction control, stability control, as well as what the driver's requesting. The way the system works, we'll just pop this cover here off the side of this one. This particular unit that is supplied by a company uh, called CTS to Toyota works pretty much the same as any other one. Uh, what you have is the pedal itself and when the driver presses on the pedal there's a, a pivot pin here inside and it, it appears that the problem that uh, Toyota is having is there's some sticking going on in this mechanism here. When you press on the pedal, pop this other cover off of here as well, when you, when you move the pedal, you can see in here that there's a, a magnet here and a sensor. And as the pedal moves, that magnet moves across the sensor. So that's actually a position sensor. So it's detecting how far the driver has pushed the pedal down. And then down under here, inside this part of the assembly, there's a heavy spring that pushes back. So you push on the pedal, the sensor detects how far you've pushed, and then when you lift off the pedal, the spring is supposed to push it back. And what appears to be happening, as far as we can tell right now, is that on these particular assemblies, Toyota is having a problem. Um, we're not really sure what the root cause is, but this, the, the pivot pin rotates inside of this brass bushing here, and it appears that they're getting unusual early wear of the bushing itself. Uh, we don't know if there's some particles getting in there causing it to wear or the material choice of, for this particular bushing cause, is causing it to wear prematurely, but that's, that's basically what's going on. And it's interesting because there's been a lot of discussion about all these electronic sensors and the use of uh, throttle by wire as opposed to what you're saying in older vehicles, but the problem that they're having actually isn't with the wiring system, it's with a mechanical system. Right. You'd think that in 2009, 2010 that we'd be able to manufacture something like that uh, without failure, but um, I haven't seen anything like this before, have you? Uh, I haven't seen anything quite like this, nothing on this particular scale with a, a mechanical problem like this, and it's not clear how, you know, within that two million vehicles, you know, exactly how widespread the problem is. It could be sporadic, there could only, you know, perhaps be a few hundred or a few thousand cars within that two million vehicle span that are actually affected by the problem. And, you know, as I said, it could easily be, you know, something in the, the manufacturing process at the supplier. There's some little bit of grit that's getting in there, um, you know, that's falling into the machine where, where this is all assembled, uh, causing it to wear uh, earlier than it should and then eventually stick. You know, you get to a point where if, if the bushing wears, you push down on the pedal and it doesn't come back up because something's getting stuck in there. Yeah, why don't we talk, and, and Toyota's given the consumers um, recommendations for if you own one of these Toyota vehicles, um, and there are eight models uh, on the list, plus one Pontiac, and um, uh, if you experience problems with your uh, accelerator pedal, 
um, you'll either experience the, where the pedal will drop all the way to the ground, all the way to the floor, um, and won't be able to come back up, or it will come back up very slowly. So Toyota gave some recommendations as to what you can do if you run into this problem. So why don't you walk through um, their recommendations? So what, what Toyota has recommended if you experience this situation is that you put both of your feet firmly on the brake pedal, push down as hard as you can, uh, don't pump the brakes, just push down solid and hold the brake pedal down because the brakes should have enough power to be able to stop the vehicle against the, the full power of the engine. And then as you do that, put the transmission into neutral, shift out of drive into neutral, and then switch the engine off and uh, coast over to the side of the road uh, as, soon as, as soon as you can safely do that. And then uh, get on the phone, call your Toyota dealer, call for roadside assistance, um, and have the vehicle towed to the dealer to be repaired. And and why shouldn't they pump the brakes? A lot of people are used to doing that. Tell them why they should. Right. I mean, tra traditionally, um, you know, pumping the pumping the brakes, especially if you're pushing against the engine, um, you don't want to pump the brakes because if the engine if the throttle is stuck and you haven't gotten a transmission in neutral yet, as soon as you pump you know pump the brakes and release, uh, the car is going to accelerate again. Um, the, traditionally, the reason for pumping the brakes is to avoid locking up the brakes. Uh, in this case here, because you're working against the engine, you just you, that's going to be less of a risk, and you just want to push the pedal down. Plus, all of these vehicles are equipped with anti-lock brakes anyway, so um, there's no reason to pump the brakes on modern vehicles. Okay, great. So this is Sam from Autoblog, and I'm Riley from AWOL Autos, and uh, thanks for being with us.